What is up, guys? Cove is back again, once again. And today we are going to play what I believe are the three best tier 10 medium tanks. Uh, the STB one is uh, probably the best for ranked, and the UDES and TBPs are probably the second and third best, in my opinion, for the random queue. So, what we're going to end up doing is playing the STB one last. We're going to play the UDES 14, or 15, 16 first. Uh, yes, I do have the vent directive on it because this gun is fairly inaccurate for a medium, but it makes up for it in so many other ways. So, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's see, Overlord against the Eights. Nice. Matched up against a Patton, which is very good. We can pin his turret. He has trouble pinning ours. Uh, weak point on the Yudas is the rather obvious Capola that is rather flat. Except for when you're using 10 degrees of gun depression. It kind of, or 13 degrees of gun depression. It kind of is, is difficult to hit. Uh, obviously, if you get hit in the front plate at all, it's going to pin. And you're not going to have a very good day. Uh, the worst thing about this tank is shell velocity on the standard rounds. The APCRs tend to uh, lob for an APCR shell, which is weird. And the heat rounds are kind of garbage on the pin, but... Oh. There's still heat rounds. They still have over 300 millimeters of pin, so you can still make it work. It's not difficult to make these heat rounds work at all. If you're going to judge a tank on its penetration, then you're, you're just mission, messing up entirely. Um, especially at tier 10. Especially in a game right now where we don't have any super heavy tanks. We should be able to pin everything with relatively with relative ease with our standard rounds. That lightweight's going to be annoying. But he's also playing very, very, very dumb, so. We'll switch over to our HE round. We're gonna hit this tree. Alpha damage on this is really what makes the difference between it and the um, STB-1. Uh, the STB-1 does have a better rate of fire, obviously, because it is an STB. It has 4,000 DPM. Mine does, anyway. Oh, you wasn't even there. Okay, cool. change our position slightly here. Uh, I don't have this tank set up for vision just because it's much better, I believe, to set it up in a combat supporting role. We lost our ELC, didn't we? No? Where did he go? He's on the beach? Why is he on the beach? My guy. I was paying too much attention to our ELC to notice the T54. Uh, okay. I'm gonna knock this tree down. And then back up immediately so they don't shoot me. T54 
for lightweight. Still, I want to take more aggressive position here. Because you just can in this tank. No, right now I'm completely hold down buttons originally. Obviously. And obviously I can't hit anything, so. Need a little bit slower, please. I don't want this to end up like my heavy tank video, where I just die in the first three minutes of every battle and then eventually have one good game. Uh, do you, but do you see how the, the APCR shells lob? That's probably the worst, worst part of this tank. It's just the lobbing APCR rounds. Like, that doesn't make much sense. <laughs> Every other tank in the game that has APCR pretty much shoots straight on at the target, except for a bit derpier guns. I was really hoping he was gonna. For those of you who don't understand how the M46 turret works over the M48 turret, the M46 turret has to be pointed directly at the target to have any effectiveness or pointing directly at whatever's shooting it, so. Not a super effective armor profile on the turret of that tank. I won't have good impression to shoot him. And I'm gonna miss that shot. I didn't miss, which is surprising. Um, should be able to just go straight in on this pattern. I'm gonna ram him. Gonna take a lot more damage than I should have there. Death Star's looking at me. And now we're gonna load gold. Don't need it because he's not even looking at me anymore. Uh, T and H is still up over here, so he can shoot us while we cross, but not really that concerned about it because we need to take out this Death Star and SU so we can turn our attention back towards the E50M and TNH. Oh, you fucked up. Okay, he didn't fuck up. I didn't want to sit there and just wait on my team to come kill him. That just seemed like a boring idea. I was either going to get the kill or not. I wasn't going to do any more damage in this game. So it was kind of worth it. I hope he fluffed a shot because he fucking completely whipped another shot. So, But hey, we're already doing better in this video than we did in the heavy tank video. So that's a good thing for me. VZ-55's closing in on him. I think he's still looking down towards the 268. And he is. 268 should be able to just find the angle on him. And boom. Or not. VZ-55's gonna kill him. Don't know why you didn't take a shot there, bud, but... Maybe he DC'd. Who knows? So, we got two players on our team that had four and five kills, respectively, and then the rest of the team either picked up zero or one. Bit of a boring battle, but we got some good use out of the tank. Not, not a great battle, but not, not terrible at all whatsoever. Third class master badge firing for effect. It's what you want to get every single game. Obviously, that just pretty much means you pulled your weight. Uh, you we got just about thirty-seven hundred combined. We're gonna times through that. 
<clears throat> fourth on damage. Three, four, five, six on XP. Not a bad game. Not a great game. Decent game. But yeah. Do love this deck. This was my second tier 10 medium, I think. So, do like it. I'm going to end things with the uh, STB. So, right now, we're going to go straight into a battle in the TVP T5051. What's good about this tank? Shell velocity. APCR standard. Speed. Auto loader. 1.5 second inch clip reload. <laughs> All of these combined together just make a, a brilliant, brilliant tier 10 medium. The burstiest tank in the game. Even with the VZ55 in the game. This thing just gets damage out quick. I made credits that game. Nice. And we're in on Cliff, which is not a map I wanted to see in this deck. No, that is a bad map, just uh, not for this deck. For me, personally. I don't take a high explosive mag just because the high explosive rounds are so so. But 1400 shell velocity on a laser pointer of a gun. <laughs> If you let the shots in. I believe I have a bit more of a spotting setup on this for this uh, equipment slot or equipment dynamic thing, whatever. Uh, they're going to have an LT100 go up the hill, which is great, I guess. Uh, we have an LT100. I'm reading the team scroll backwards ah he didn't spot me I'm gonna get on the hill no no Got a Leo spotted. Got a 50B spotted. D100 is probably gonna come this way. I had to guess. Now I'm reloading, yay. But now I have teammates here, so. DM can't really rush me, but I can rush him in 11 seconds. But nobody can shoot me right now. I'm completely safe from being shot. Three seconds, and then I'm going in, and I'm going to kill the e 50 m Assassination. Hit five. Reload. Boom. Just going to slowly work our way down this map right now. team that little extra oomph that they might need to get through this game a little better. Alright, I'm reloaded. I'm going. I'm not going to get hit by the VZ. Awesome. I'm going to bounce this entire mag. Awesome. I bounced every single shell of that mag. That's great. Awesome. 
Come on, VZ. Keep pushing. Use your armor. I can't take hits, but you can. Go. 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 VZ55, scared of a 140. Oop. Missed. I can sit right here and wait on him. No, I can't. Death Star has that shot. Okay, cool. It's probably the exact same Death Star, honestly. It is not. Okay. Well. This is most certainly interesting. Super fun game of World of Tanks, yeah. Hopefully we can win the game. I don't even care to finish this game, honestly. <laughs> we'll look at the post-game stats whenever we are done with the STB1 game. So, it is time for the STB1. Hull armor. Trash. Turret armor. Great, except for the weak point, which is trash. The gun is amazing, except for the accuracy, which is kind of trash. Mobility is great, except for the top speed, which is kind of trash. Doesn't make any sense that it's this good, but it's kind of hard to, uh, to not be one of the best tanks in the game when you have 4,000 DPM a fairly accurate gun and fairly decent mobility and armor then you get stuck on shitty maps for your tank do you have a 279e versus a Uh, 705A, so there's that. Um, granted, he does have the 279E badge on, so therefore he probably paid for the tank. So he's probably not even any good in it, honestly. Can't tell. Doesn't have a mark of excellence. But it is a difficult tank to mark of excellence because nobody can play it poorly because it is kind of idiot proof. All you gotta do is angle the tank up and wiggle to shoot down. Like, it's not difficult at all. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm gonna take the uh, middle, I guess, and then go back around and support the heavies. Leo's dumb. It was very dumb. STB is kind of dumb. We're in a hold down spot, but the only problem with that is, is uh, our team just wants to sit directly in front of us. Um, so, there's that. Leo's not going to be an issue. In fact, I'm going to go kill that Leo. Never mind, I'm not going to go kill that Leo. The IS-7 is, but I'm going to keep going down this flank. Oh, the TVP killed him. Never mind. TVP has the only two kills of the game so far. Which is pretty awesome, considering he is in an auto-loader. Great game for him. Um, they really not sent anything down here. That's great. Oop, STB. I'm gonna help this E4 out.
Can you go up here? I wonder. Let's figure this out. You can not. Okay, cool. You can get up one set of stairs, but you can't get up the other one. Yeah, because that makes sense. Okay. Do my river play that I love. Nobody else ever seems to want to do. Even though it's a perfect counter for the E3's position that he's in right now. If I can just hit my shots. Give me that juicy Swedish side armor. Yes. Yes. We're just gonna shoot this building down. Fuck this guy. That way I get spotting damage out of it. Okay. Now we go after the Jaeger and the Badger, just cause, you know. They're the only TDs left on the team, on the enemy team, should they? I got spotted, so there's a mana core spotting me. Kill that guy. Load gold for the badger, obviously. Three thirty, right? Yeah. Interesting. Yep. standard. The worst part about the STB. Mana core hitting shots on the move. Huh. Interesting. That means he doesn't have the tank set up correctly. <laughs> In my opinion. In my opinion is correct as I am the founder of the cult of the mana core. Um, where the fuck is this 705? Good luck, boss. He's a one shot for you and he has to high roll you. And, um. A little gold again, just because I don't like shooting at 705s. Pretty decent strategy, honestly. Got a great ridge line to work on here. And he's AFK. Okay, cool. Nice. Three kills. 3,500 damage. And 900 spotting. Interesting. Dude, really? Still haven't killed that Jaeger? Just make him fucking miss. TKO is not a good play. You have to pledge yourself. Oh shit. Oh, I fucked up. Oh, well. Still gonna kill him. 
Make that four kills. And 3,700 damage. Fun game. And best of the session. Woo. Not surprising. The CSTB one, I believe, is just by far the best tier 10 medium tank in the game. Bar none. Uh, special shout outs, I guess, to um, the CS63 and the. Uh, Object 140. And the patent. I, the patent, I don't like the patent personally, but it, it does have its moments. Uh, so let's check out who won the TBP game. Let's check out the post game stats on that one. Uh, 900 damage, 251 spotting. Kronvong did 6k. Nice. Um, bounced five shots. Which is always great. Missed three. Got derped by a, a Death Star for the second game in a row. Um, shit happens. And yeah. Obviously, middle of the team in both statistics there. And now let's look at the uh, STB game. Top on damage, top on XP. Cool. Uh, 23 for 16 to 13. Bounce three shots out of the 16 that we hit after missing seven. 3,700 damage, 20, or 900 spotting. Blocked a shot from something. It was the Udez, okay. And yeah. Had that clutch ass shot on the Badger that somehow pinned. I guess I hit his roof. Uh, yeah. Just showed the total domination that the SDB can have in the right hands, in the right situation. But yeah, that's why I'd say. For the upcoming season of Ranked, whenever the fuck that comes, eventually. Um, STB, if you're going to play mediums, STB 140s, um, Udez, I did good in the Udez in my last Ranked. Um, didn't have the TVP, but I did see some TVPs do some pretty insane stuff. I wouldn't personally use TVP in Ranked, just because the lack of armor and hit points... Uh, CS63 I wouldn't use the Leo Leo can do good stuff but it's just it's so reliant on its gun handling and speed so if you're not an exceptionally good mental player of the game I wouldn't go for the Leo um all around your best bet is going to be uh, hold down mediums, just like you would go for a hold down heavy tank. Uh, so your STBs, your patents, Patton can do fairly well, especially with the, the really high V range. Um, E50M can sometimes do well. 140, 430U are pretty decent. Um, Centurion Action 10 has its moments in ranked. Uh, TVP can be well, do good, but you just have to know how to play the TVP. Uh, 1 2 1, I, I wouldn't personally. I, I still think, yeah, even after the buffs, that the, that tank's just not worth getting or playing. Um, CS63 is really difficult to use for most players, so I wouldn't recommend it. Uh, the Udez is a great tank. It works and ranks just fine. Uh, if you don't have the SDB and somehow you have the Udez, uh, I, it's completely fine to use. It's just you got to be weary of the fact that in the higher tiers of ranked, your armor is not going to work as well because people have better aim. They have better idea of where to pin you. 
in the lower tiers, uh, yeah, it's going to be much, much easier to make it through with the U does. Um, the Progetto can actually do really, really well in ranked. It has a really good combination of things that just make it really fun to play in ranked. Or decent in ranked. With the, it's got decent turret armor. It's not great, but it's got decent turret armor. Uh, it's got hold down potential, not great hold down potential, even though everybody will be firing heat and APCR. Uh, it's got great mobility. It's got a really decent gun. Um, so. It can work. It's another thing like the TVP or the CS63. You just got to know how to play it well to be able to play it well in ranked. But with that, it is time to say goodbye. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.